welcome to the Generational Gamer. I want to shout out to Nick Dobry who was kind enough to loan me this equipment. This thing's been reviewed to death, so I'm not going to do that. The only advantage I see with this one over the Carby, at least at this point, is the fact that you can output to an analog video. I reviewed the Carby in an earlier video. I'll put the link in the description. And here are the magical M cables. Now this is my first experience with these cables, so I'm interested to see how much better they make the consoles look. And right there is the list of consoles that it says it's supposed to work with. Here are the cables. They look quality, and those things are really tied tight. They're seated well, too. So here's the side that goes into the source, which would be your game console or Switch. This is the side that goes to the TV, and then finally the USB is for power. Okay, so since these cables are on loan, I am not leaving this set up. I just made it a very quick setup right here, and I am powering it by the TV. The TV has USB. My TV can power my classic modern game consoles. So I figure, let's give it a okay. go. I'm gonna switch this to HDMI 4, which is what the side of my TV is. Sorry, Carby. I need to try the GCHD by Eon. The GCHD uses both ports in the back of the GameCube. I don't know if it's any more secure. Let me give the Carby a prominent seat. Now let's check out some F-Zero GX on the Nintendo GameCube.
I will say, the M cable, it's a $100 cable. And I don't know if it's because of these massive lenses right here. I don't see much of a difference from my Amazon $4 cable. Now, I pre-ordered an M Classic. It's $70 if you buy it right now. But is it worth $70? So right here in my hand for the GameCube, I am holding $250 worth of equipment. So I'm just going to tell you, I would not buy an M cable. I would not buy the Eon GCHD Mark II. The Carby is half the price. It seems like it's made a bit better. And I'll give the M Classic a try. One of the nice things that that says it's going to offer is the ability to force it into 4x3, although it's not a complete 4x3, and force widescreen. Very handy on retro games. So we'll see. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And have a good one. Bye.